Buddhahood are born from the Metis sage. And the Buddhas take their birth from Bodhisattva's heroes. Compassion, not duality, the wish for Buddhahood for others' sake are cause of the children of the conqueror. And uh, then the second stand of Buddhahood is uh, ab abundant crop. Compassion is the seed. It's like a monster bring increase and is said to ripen in the state of the lasting happiness. Therefore, to begin, I celebrate compassion. Uh, okay. Here, this is uh, three uh, stanzas. First, it's showing why Chandrakirti celebrate or Chandrakirti saluting to uh, compassion. Why? The first, why, why he not um, homage to Buddha? Why he not homage to like uh, Buddhist and Arhat or um, Pratyeka Buddha? Why he homage to compassion? That's question. He's saying that, he's saying that. Those uh, Sharvakas and Pratyeka, uh, Pratyeka Buddhas, here uh, translated halfway to Buddhahood. So, Pratyaka Buddha or Middle Buddha born from Buddha's speech. Buddha himself were born from Bodhisattva. Bodhisattva himself born from three different causes. Compassion, non-duality, and Bodhicitta. And among the three causes, Actually, com without compassion, there is no bodhicitta. So, in this case, bodhicitta is the seed of the whole Buddha. A monster, uh, you know, the Buddhist uh, of the Buddha and also ripening of the Buddha. Compassion is everything. Therefore, he said, I'm a homage to the compassion. And uh, so I also would like to talk about here a little bit about w how could be Sharaka or uh, um, these uh, Sharakas and Patika Buddha were born from Buddha's speech. How Buddha uh, could be born from the Bodhisattva. And uh, you know, Buddha was uh, giving the teaching like in, uh, in, uh, dependent ordination. Buddha taught those teaching and the Shavaka and Pratyaka Buddhas, they just listen what the Buddha taught and they're contemplating it and then they meditate it and they achieve according their wish. So according their wish means, uh, you know, the Three in a three uh, the disciples among the disciples have a different uh, wish, different interests to gain. Some of them just want to achieve uh, nirvana, just get out from this samsara, no more any other things. Just want to get out from this samsara. Some of them not only get out from this samsara, also they want to abandon the clinging outer subject and also realize more interdependent, 12 interdependent uh, connections. Also, th they want to achieve some power that teaching others without sign, without expression, that is Pratyaka Buddha. Some of them not only uh, enough to achieve just get out from the samsara or nirvana and pratyaka buddha, but they also want to achieve the full enlightenment for the sake of the other beings. So students, followers have a different wish, different, different uh, goal. D but uh, all have in uh, 
take it can have the different goal, but they all have to uh, have wisdom and the method. They, they, so Buddha just taught this um, uh, what called um, those uh, interdependent teaching, and then Hiraka and the Pratyeka Buddhas they listen Buddha's advice and they contemplating and meditating. They achieved their stage. That's why they born from Buddha's uh, Buddha's speech. And Buddha was born for Buddhasattva because, uh, you know, the Buddhasattva, there are ten stages, what we are going to discuss in the, in the later, first, second, third, and the tenth is Buddhasattva. Apini, Manjushiri, and Avalokishwara are the, in the tenth stage. They are ready to become the Buddha. Apparently, they are not Buddha, Buddha stage. They are just a Buddhasattva stage. But they are become the cause of the Buddha. That's why Buddha born from Buddhasattva. The another thing that uh, you you know the Manjushri actually was the uh, was the who uh, was the person who led the, our um, Buddha Shakyamuni to generate first Manju uh, first uh, Buddhicitta. You know, mm, so Buddhasattvas usually once you, they achieve the mm, uh, Arya Bhumi stage, their permits, they will not enlightened until all sentient beings enlightened stage. And they will demand the Bodhisattva palm for sake of the other beings. And they will let generate, mm, let other people to generate Bodhicitta, compassion, and to leading to until Buddhahood. And uh, many Bodhisattvas do like that. That's why Buddha was born from Buddhasattva in two different conditions. Two different conditions. Then Buddhasattva himself, uh, himself born from and uh, compassion, non duality mind or wisdom, and a Buddhicitta. You know? In among the three, among three, you can have non-duality wisdom without compassion and uh, uh, buddhicitta, you know. If you are intellectual uh, uh, or sharp students, they usually study, they will get wisdom first. You know, they will study all these things, they will understand in the emptiness, and they under, uh, they can have wisdom, wisdom first. But those who are more mm, kind of a follower, uh, follower of the faith, they will generate um, uh, generate compassion first. Compassion first. But anyway, in order to generate buddhicitta. The m we must need compassion. Without compassion, we cannot have the bodhicitta. Without compassion, we cannot have bodhicitta. That's why compassion is the real seed of the Buddha, and compassion is the most important, uh, uh, you know, cause of the Buddha, Buddha, uh, Bodhisattva. Therefore. Gender get the homage to the compassion. Then what Im what means the compassion? What uh, what means the bodhicitta or awakened mind? What means in the non duality mind? So non duality mind we will discuss more on the sixth chapter. I want to discuss on about the differentiate between uh, compassion and awakened mind here. What's different? Compassion, generally, the definition of compassion, definition of, uh, definition of compassion is focus on like sentient beings, wishing them free from suffering, wishing them released from suffering, wishing them to get out from suffering. That is the compassion. 
that aspect of the mental attitude is the compassion. And if you are having strong wish, the sentient being or uh, other beings free from suffering, only if you are only having wish, it, it, it doesn't help very much, right? If you, you really want them free from suffering, what do you need? You need the power. If you don't have the power, then homeless mother looking on kids, sinking in the water. Homeless mother, when they're looking on kids, sinking in the water, what they're feeling? They really want them free from the water and they want to rescue the own kids from the water, but the homeless can't do anything. So compassion alone can't do anything. Then what do we need? The mother need to get two arms and learn good swimming, and then we can rescue on kids. And same thing, in order to make other beings free from suffering, what we need, we need to get a full enlightenment, the powerful one, Buddhahood. So I wanted to achieve the Buddhahood first. I wishing to achieve the Buddhahood first, and also practice path for achieve that stage. That is called the bodhicitta, a weakened mind, the differentiate. You got the differentiate bodhicitta and uh, mm, uh, buddh uh, compassion now. So these two are the mm, necessary cause of the bodhicitta. Without these two, there is impossible to any bodhisattva. Then only these two not uh, even not able to achieve the first Burmi if you don't have non-duality mind. Non-duality mind because we have a so strong attachment of our own self, mind, others. And then we have a lot uh, defilement that is what is called the attachment, angry, jealous, misery, all those things. We have then accumulate a lot negative karmas. And then, you know, the cycle. Defilement create karma. Create karma make reborn and death again. Born, reborn and uh, mm, making more defilement. Also defilement make more karma, then settling in this samsara, again and again. So we need to cut the cycle. Which can make it cut the cycle is only wisdom, non-duality wisdom. That can cut, can cut, can root out our, our root of the samsara. These three, compassion, Bodhicitta, non-duality, these three are the cause of the Bodhisattva. Among these, the compassion is the most important. Buddha himself said in the Sutra, as long as you have compassion, if, uh, no, if you have a one thing, you have equally, have a everything, equally have everything in your hand. What is that? That is compassion, he said like that. So how, how is it possible? Because if we have a strong compassion, then it will not let us to be lazy and let be, will not let, let us to be just obst uh, you know, the distracted. It will lead us to wishing to achieve the Buddhahood. It will lead us to practicing the, uh, trying to get this non-duality wisdom as well, and to then to it, to practice, uh, you know, the mm, the wisdom and the method and the achieved step by step to until fully enlightenment. So compassion is the most important. That's why he's um, uh, I celebrate compassion.
he said he I saluted or I homage to the compassion. And then what are those compassion? Generally speaking, what I have shared you the definition of on it on 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 that Ilya. But actually compassion it itself also have a three different types of the compassion. Uh, maybe you want to have uh, some question and answering here? If we, if we wa want to have, because uh, I also don't know whether you, maybe may question and answer make a warm up a little bit. Please. No, no, no. Anyone who wants to <laughs> ask a question, okay. I'll pass the mic to you. Okay. Uh, is maybe just a clarification. Altruism and compassion. Altruism. Altruism. No, altruism. Uh -huh. Yeah, and compassion are similar or concept or. Well, I think, uh, um, but uh, I'm actually uh, not good at English. So intuism, according to my understanding, intuism is more wide. Intuism, intuism, intuism. Altruism, A -L -T -R. Intuism is a kind of a being kind, having both. Yes, so it is a, this is a kind of a generally, mm, it's a compassion is more specific. Compassion is itself is altruism, <laughs> but uh, loving kindness is also al 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 altruism. But loving kindness and compassion is a little different. In the Buddhism, when we do study, it's we do very kind of uh, study very uh, distinguish very tiny things. For example, loving kindness and compassion looks like very similar. But uh, what's the difference between loving kindness and a compassion? And loving kindness is that focus on the sentient beings or other beings, wishing them to be happy. That aspect is the loving kindness. And compassion is a focus on the other beings, wishing them free from suffering. It looks like a very mm, talking same thing, but actually inside they have a little different, little different. Uh, so both of them altruistic mind. That, that, that's what I'm understood, understanding in the altruistic mind, but still I'm not really uh, good <laughs> that, that so. Okay. I need more questions. So, Kenpo, uh -huh. thank you so much for the teachings. Just wondering about, just now you mentioned about loving kindness, right? Okay. I'm just wondering, um, uh, wouldn't loving kindness also lead us to cultivate bodhicitta? Why is it that the focus has to be on compassion. Why is it that it has to be on reflecting the suffering of sentient beings? Why is it that why is it not possible for us to focus on the positive side, which means that to focus on developing loving kindness for all sentient beings, to cultivate bodhicitta, to become an enlightened being? W I'm just wondering why. Why is it that we have to focus on compassion rather than Loving kindness. The focus mm. seems to be compassion. Mm, okay. Well, mm, if we have a loving kindness, uh, actually uh, compassion arise, and also uh, uh, can uh, can arise. But uh, you know, this uh, related comp here uh, compassion. As I mentioned to you, uh, if we, 
we have a strong weak other, others free from suffering and then it lead us to gain some power to make them to be free from the suffering so this comp that means that this is leading us to or generating us uh, generating us to uh, it making us to generate bodhicitta to mean it means making goal to, to achieve the buddhahood so it's a kind of a method skill skillful uh, loving kindness is also actually um, it's also uh, very good it's also may will lead compassion loving kindness if you want to other be happy then also you want to be other free from suffering. Otherwise, you want you, you wish will not come to. Uh, but loving kindness will will be leading on it. Uh, but that the the cause of cause of the um, cause of uh, buddhicitta, main cause, immediate cause of the buddhicitta is compassion, compassion aspect. That's why. Focus on the compassion, I think. But in the step by step, if you go step by step, if you focus on a loving kindness, it's also okay. It will lead to compassion and lead to uh, buddhicitta. But the immediate cause of the uh, buddhicitta is the same uh, more uh, compassion. That's why I think. The reason why I'm asking this question is because the loving kindness, right? When you, when we focus on the method of cultivating loving kindness for others mm -hmm. yeah there's a positive power you know power. it's mm. a it's a um, how do i say it's like you don't you feel happy as well mm -hmm. because you're wishing other people to be happy okay and then you, you is directed and that's where okay. you focus you still selfless right okay but when you focus on compassion right okay. there's a generation of sadness no? okay even for yourself because okay. one of sentient being anyway, so the the energy is also there's a drive, there's a power, but it's a different, it's different. The drive is different. The the goal is the same because yeah. it leads to bodhicitta. Both will lead will give you the energy and the power to cultivate eventually bodhicitta and buddhahood. Mm -hmm. But for the loving kindness, right? I felt it's a happy energy. That's right. And the <laughs> compassion is a sad energy. <laughs> so I, for me, I'm more inclined to okay. want to focus on loving kindness. But then, in the sutras, it's always focusing on compassion. compassion. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So maybe can enlighten okay. me. Okay. Thank you. I think um, it's also uh, depend. It's very much related to on goal. If our goal is just uh, um, if uh, our, uh, the our ultimate goal is to achieve the Buddhahood, then focus on compassion is more skillful. If our ultimate goal is just being temporarily happier, uh, for being something to have a positive energy immediately, and uh, those are actually loving, as you said, loving kindness is a help this temporarily uh, uh, you know the many those post steps uh, things uh, to happen. You know, so in this sense, also for example, like if you focus on loving kindness, even a temporary uh, result, uh, reborn in uh, like a Burmese uh, palm realms, mm, they said like that, loving kindness. Uh, Loving kindness, uh, meditation on loving kindness is have a t amazing power uh, f mm, uh, for uh, you know the energy for uh, in the uh, worldly worldly pleasure or worldly uh, happiness. Uh, but uh, he in Chandrakirti, uh, written this text. Uh, it's the ultimate goal is uh, to uh, lead us to achieve the Buddhahood. His ultimate goal. Uh, most of uh, most of uh, uh, 
the definite teachings of the Buddha and the Shastras, the ultimate, ultimate goal is to achieve the Buddhahood, to lead in the Buddhahood. So they, because of that, those uh, scape of masters always trying to uh, let us to focus on the which is more uh, kind of uh, powerful for that goal, the ultimate goal. Okay, let's say just for common uh, common practice between Buddhism and uh, Hinduism, uh, then those uh, the goal is uh, very limited. Those goal is just uh, for uh, getting kind of uh, some samadhis, mind kind of calm calmness stage and uh, all those things. And then in that time, also in the many meditation uh, instructions, they emphasize the loving kindness quite a lot. And so I think this uh, uh, um, uh, emphasizing why the sutras and the shastras, definite shastras, they more focus on uh, compassion. That mean uh, that this uh, maybe compassion will make um, kind of a, uh, can be the most skillful for that that goal. The another thing, uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you said uh, compassion energy or compassion, compassion. Uh, what is a compassion? Emotion is like a more negative emotion, sad emotion. That is probably I don't know wha whether I can agree with it. You know, compassion. Compassion. Um, mm, you know, once you have a compassion. That means you definitely have already loving kindness. You already associated it. You know, without the loving kindness, uh, you can't have compassion. You just kick it on, uh, on it. So compassion, it's uh, when looks just looks uh, uh, when we explain, uh, focus on the sentence means free from suffering when it looks like it uh, have to think of suffering, that may make me of a sad, sad, sad emotion or something like that. But uh, in order to have this comp uh, compassion, that kind of compassion, we need a loving kindness. We need to have loving kindness as well. Uh, it's already associated on it. Then also another thing that um, uh, the genuine compassion. Genuine compassion is not really uh, sad emotion. Uh, g genuine uh, compassion, uh, we will discuss later after break. After we break, and uh, genuine compassion is um, uh, it's a. It's a actually positive emotion. Uh, it uh, genuine compassion is really power of uh, uh, source of the happiness as well, temporarily. So we will discuss on it after we break. Then maybe we have a break for a few minutes. Okay. Okay. Loving kindness out display. Ah, oh. oh, okay. Okay. Uh, well, a very good explanation, but uh, um, well, uh, I think uh, according the Mahayana uh, texts and uh, Mahayana practice. Uh, loving kindness, compassion, equanimity, 
Those are all our inner quality and mind quality, mind attitude, attitude of mind. So all are have a display outside as well. For example, it's a uh, very uh, display uh, outer uh, display compassion outer and uh, loving kindness uh, outside is very dis difficult to distinguish between them. Uh, but in inner, when we do deeper uh, study, uh, the different shade between um, loving kindness, equanimity, and uh, compassion, all those things, and joyful. Also, there are four measurables for immeasurables and quality of mental, those all are inner quality, inner attitude. But uh, our, you know, mental emotion uh, factors, it's, uh, it's a really subtle, subtle uh, things. That's why I have a really difficult to distinguish between the mental factors. It uh, looks like almost the same. But uh, when we do study, like uh, in a, uh, according to these Mahayana sutras and shastras, they will distinguish between those mental factors. It's really uh, kind of that kind of subtle level. Just I mentioned earlier, differentiate between loving kindness and compassion. So, the, for example, like devotion. Devotion, it looks like a joy. But the devotion and joy, joy is also have a difference. And then also in a ins inside, uh, inside, uh, for, uh, for example, devotion and desire. It looks like a same, right? But uh, I mean, desire and a loving kindness. Many many mm, people have a love and a desire. Those are man many things that looks like a very similar have a very difficult to distinguish between love and attachment. But <laughs> if we go deeper, uh, study the line between loving kindness and attach, they have a line, they are different. It's a similar compassion, loving kindness. They can be together, come together, associate together. They are not um, contradictory. Uh, mental factor. For example, loving kindness and anger are contradict. They cannot come together. Loving kindness and uh, anger not, uh, not able to come together on one object. But loving kindness and compassion are not that kind of contradict. They can they associate. They come together. So that's why we have a uh, difficult to differentiate of those uh, mental uh, subtle line between com loving kindness compassion so uh, so every each and every inner quality also have a dis display outer because outer everything we act by physically vocally are all play by inner due to by our inner quality or inner attitude, right? So mm, that's it. Uh, all with uh, uh, the display, our, you know, outer display, which is physically or vocally, whether it will be mm, virtuous or non-virtuous, it uh, entirely depends on the inner attitude, inner, so, um, so each and every attitude, inner attitude or quality has a, Mm. Out, out of display, but uh, I think mm, uh, in this case, loving kindness and compassion both are inner quality. And uh, then, yeah, I, th I think. Okay. Then uh, uh, you want to have a break? If you don't want, to, I'm okay. But just kidding. Maybe we have five minutes or ten minutes break. What time? Better. Three. Three.
Good afternoon. So here's also a short announcement from the organizers. If you would like to access the introduction to the middle way, you can access the PDF version on the, at this link, is.gd slash g2hdun. Thank you. Okay, then prepare for more questions.